Hello and welcome. This is Beth with Divine Me Time, and I have another emotion alchemy practice for you. Today we will be dealing once more with the first trio of emotions, fear, anxiety, and nervousness. I won't go into depth in this video uh, about emotion alchemy and what it is, how it works. I did that a little bit in the first video in the series, so be sure to check out that at the link. And if you want more information or details, visit the website divinemetime.com. Today we will be working once more with the elixir to protect. So we'll start today's practice mm, seated. You're welcome to sit up on a cushion or pillow to elevate your hips slightly higher than your knees. You can also choose to sit on your heels, perhaps with a blanket or something between your buttocks and heels. Whatever is more comfortable for you. We're going to be here for some time. And we'll begin with an inquiry, a meditative inquiry into fear, anxiety, and nervousness. So notice the position of your hands. You may want to have them palms down on the leg somewhere or perhaps palms up. Try both. My guess is in working with fear, anxiety, and nervousness that you would prefer to have the hands down as there is a reassuring touch and effect. And begin to get in touch with your breathing, allowing the lower body to release to gravity. And ask yourself, where in my body do I feel fear, anxiety, and nervousness? And if perchance you're not feeling those states at this moment, Ask yourself, where do I usually feel them? And just check in with those spots. See if there's any residual or perhaps permanent contraction around those states. And typically we hold anxiety in our shoulders or the clenching of fear in the jaw. Oftentimes the belly will become quite tight. And as you breathe, just bring the breath into those tight areas and with the exhalation, see if you can allow a softening, a release. Now, fear, anxiety, nervousness, these are all messengers. And until we receive the message, we might be able to clear them temporarily, but they're going to keep surfacing. And so part of our ability to, um, to change these states is in receiving the message. The elixir to protect helps us to get at the heart of that message. So ask yourself, when I feel fear, anxiety, or nervousness, what is it that I believe needs to be protected? What is it that is being threatened? And just notice any sensations in the body or any responses in the breath. And 
and just continue to deepen your inquiry. So if you come up with an answer, what needs to be protected? And maybe you have a fear uh, or a concern uh, for animals, let's say. Ask yourself, okay, so the animals need to be protected. Maybe ask yourself, well, why is it that I need to protect them? Or perhaps, why is it that someone else needs to protect them in your eyes? And just keep digging. See if you can come to a more general or universal answer to that question. So using our example of animals needing to be protected, well, perhaps it's more about the fact that life is sacred and life should be honored. And then, while it's very easy to externalize our feelings of fear and anxiety and nervousness, take the inquiry deeper inside and ask yourself, how am I not in my life honoring all of life. We can project all of this outward till we're blue in the face, but we won't change anything until we come to witness and accept and forgive our own shortcomings contradictions, and inner conflicts. This isn't an exercise in self-judgment. It is a witnessing from a place of compassion. And maybe the results of your inquiry are quite a bit different than the example I gave. Receive whatever comes and trust in that. And at the same time, don't just accept what immediately arises but continue to question, continue to dive. We'll remain in silence together a little longer. Breathe and soften. Now allow the hands to drop to the sides. Inhale, raising them overhead, pressing the palms together. Exhale, swing the arms back down. We'll repeat that two more times. Inhaling, taking the arms up overhead. And exhaling, opening the arms out and down. Last time, breathing in, taking the arms overhead in a reach feeling long and tall, and exhaling, releasing the arms. 
Beautiful. Let's come to standing now for our second practice. We'll begin in mountain pose with the feet about hip width apart. Really allow your toes here to spread and open as much as you can. You know, we're usually stuffing our feet into cramped little shoes. Give them a chance to spread out and breathe. And then just begin to rock your body side to side, just feeling the shift of weight and the placement of the feet on the ground. And then begin a pulse, a little shake through the body. So here the knees will pretty much remain permanently slightly relaxed. And everything is part of the motion. Allowing the tailbone to drop and soften towards the ground. The lower back becomes a little softer and flatter. Tension in the shoulders melts away with the bouncing. The hands feel heavy as if filled with water. And the same is true of the legs, especially the lower leg into the ankles and feet. As you shake, how much can you root down into the earth? Shake and breathe. Feel the energy moving through the body. Feel the effort that might be required to keep going, but don't give up. Notice the changes of weight or where the body kind of centers itself. Notice any places of holding where the pulse might be dying off and see if you can allow the pulse to come into those places. Can you invigorate the pulse and really use gravity to feel the difference between the tissues and the support of the bones? Allow the tissues to jostle around your rigid bones and allow the bones to provide consistent support. Good, slowing down now, slowing down into stillness. Feel and sense all of that energy flowing in the body. Breathe, root, feel yourself as an unperturbable mountain. Deeply rooted and connected to the earth. Grand and tall in your stance. Placing your hands on your hips, just feel the sensation of the legs from the hips down, rooting down. Let the hands assist that sensation. We'll be moving into our next practice now, which is called seaweed. If you think of uh, seaweed underwater and how it moves with the current, that is the effect that we want in regards to this practice. So your job is to be the seaweed. The current of the water will be like a strike on your body along different points that I'm going to show here. So a forceful current can either hit you from the front at either shoulder or at either hip. 
or directly on the sternum. From the back, same thing, could be either shoulder, either hip, or right between the shoulder blades. So stand with your feet a little wider here, and then prepare to be like seaweed. Whatever comes at you in life, you can rebound. Be resilient. So the current strikes you at the front of one shoulder. Respond, and then bring yourself back. Flow with the current as it strikes again in a back hip. Notice how the body changes each time. Now you're struck between the shoulder blades with the current. How does the body respond? How does it rebalance itself? Again, a gentle touch between the shoulder blades propels you forward as you rebound. Again, front shoulder, and then the opposite front hip. And then a back hip. and a front hip. A touch at the sternum. A shoulder from behind. another shoulder from behind. It can be the same shoulder, it could be a different shoulder. You decide. From the front of the shoulder, from the front of the second shoulder. Front of a hip, back of a hip, chest, of a shoulder, back of a hip, back of the other hip, front of a shoulder, chest, front of a hip, Breathe and steady yourself and bring your hands to settle on your shoulders. Allow the weight of them to assist you in a sense of grounding and rooting into the earth, stabilizing the body here and now. Breathe. Placing your hands on your hips once again, opening your eyes, and preparing for our next practice. For which we'll come seated. So if you want to be up on a pillow or cushion again, grab that. We're going to do a practice called Ah Om This is a practice given to me by one of my mentors, Jean Nathan, years ago, and I'm still doing it. <laughs> so that's how much I love it. 
So just take a few breaths and allow the body to integrate everything we've done so far. We're going to be placing the hands on the body in three different places, starting with the hands crisscrossed over the heart. Here, we're going to be making the sound ah. Now that might come out like a sigh, ah, or it might come out more like a tone, ah. You can decide for yourself what feels most authentic. We'll be repeating the sound three times. So take a deep breath and let the sound of ah come through you. Good, we'll repeat. And one more time. Good. Feeling that reverberation through the body. Now place the hands on the lower belly. Here the sound is mmm or om. So again, decide how you would like to express this center. We'll make three sounds here too. So breathing in. Again. And last time. The third position is to bring the hands to the forehead. You might have both hands on the front of the forehead, or you can take one hand and put it behind whatever feels best. The sound here is simply shh. So we'll be breathing in and repeating the sound three times, starting now. Two. and three. Now that you know the three locations and the three sounds, I'm going to give you an opportunity to improvise so you can go from whichever sound to the next that you choose. Maybe it felt great to have your hands on your head and you'd like to stay there, or maybe you'd like to go from your head to your chest and back, or maybe you'd like to focus on your belly Use your intuition. Don't think, just allow. And enjoy the vibration. Free your voice.
Okay, complete your final sound and then bring your hands to the floor in front of you. Try to keep a long back here, so bending at the hips rather than rounding around the waist. We're going to make three mmm sounds, sending the energy down the hands and into the earth. Breathing in. Again. Last time. And coming back upright, palms open now if that feels good. Feel yourself more open, more receptive, more trusting, more relaxed, more grounded. Beautiful work. Thanks for joining me for today's practice. For more information on emotion alchemy, visit the website divinemetime.com.